Hey there, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to perform a factory reset and restore your iPhone 12 mini. So let's begin with the video now. So what's up everyone, welcome back to Surge Tech, Sergio here. In this channel I do a lot of tech reviews and tutorials, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this. There's gonna be links to everything that I talk about in this video in the description down below, so do check that out. And let's get right on with the video. So the reason you may wanna perform a factory reset, maybe your phone is freezing up and you can't really access to any app, maybe you wanna delete everything for a trade-in or you just simply forgot your password. So the factory reset is gonna help you to get your phone on its brand new factory settings. So in order to do this I'm going to show you two ways that you can do it and the first one is going to be through your settings and then the second one is going to be in case you don't know your passcode and you can't access to your settings. So for the first one which is going to be through the settings you're just going to enter your passcode and you're going to go to your settings. Once you're there you're going to scroll down to general and then once again all the way down to reset. Once you're here you're going to see the option that is going to say erase all content and settings. You're going to select that option and here it's going to tell you that all the documents and data are going to be uploaded to iCloud in case they're erased. So you can either press finish uploading then erase or just select erase now which is what I'm going to do. It's going to ask you to enter your passcode and as soon as you do that it's going to give you the last warning that everything will be deleted and it's going to go back to its factory conditions. So if you're ready just go ahead and press erase iPhone and your factory reset will begin. And now I'm going to show you how you can factory reset your iPhone 12 mini if you don't have a passcode and you can't access to your phone. So all that you're going to need in order to perform a factory reset without having the passcode on your phone it's going to be your phone a laptop or a computer it can be mac windows whatever you have at your disposal you need to have itunes and also a power cord which in this case i have usb type c cable and all you're going to have to do is plug it into your computer okay so now we're just going to plug in the phone and what's going to happen now we're going to have to press volume up volume down and as you press the volume down you're also going to hold the power button which is going to take us to this menu that i'm going to show you right now so volume up and these two buttons right here. So now that we are on the power off menu, you're going to slide to power it off and immediately as the screen turns black, you're going to press once again, volume down and the power button and you're going to hold those two together for around 20 seconds until a little power cord and a laptop shows up on your screen. So we do that and we do this and now we just wait. And as you can tell, we're going to have this option right here and you can even see it on the screen and you can also see it on the phone. It says that there is a problem with the iPhone and it requires to be either updated or restored. So you can select either option, but they're all going to do the same. I'm just going to go for restore. Here it's going to tell me if I want to restore an update. We're going to select that, next, and agree. And now the new software is going to start downloading for your new phone. It should take around 15 minutes as you can see on the screen. And right after those 60 seconds remaining are passed, we'll be able to see an Apple logo with a sidebar because the software will be installing on our iPhones. Now that the software is being updated on the phone, you can see the bar right here which is going to continue to grow. So just wait a couple more minutes. And now your iPhone has been completely restored to its factory conditions and it's ready to be either used again or just ready for trading. So that was it on the video on how to perform a factory reset on your new iPhone 12 mini and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this. And as usual I will see you in the next one.